Picture this, World Chess Championship. Two guys, years of work, insane pressure, right? Every move could be the difference. Oh, absolutely. Stakes don't get much higher. But here's the thing. There's a third art person at that board, someone we never really think about, the chief arbiter. Right, right, the, the unsung hero kind of deal. Exactly. And today, we're diving deep into the world of the guy chosen for the huge Jingu Kesh match next year, Abdul Hamid bin Abdul Majid. Interesting choice. Haven't heard that name often. Most haven't, but this is a big deal in the chess world. We've got two sources for this deep dive. One's from Hamid's Chess Association over in Penang. Super proud of him, obviously. Makes sense. Huge honor. Totally. Yeah. The other's from this chess blogger, Gila Chess. He's known Hamid personally for ages, so we get a bit more of a personal take, you know? Ooh, okay. I like that. So what's the, what's the scoop on this Hamid guy then? What makes him chief arbiter material? Well, the Penang Chess Association post. They go on and on about his dedication. This guy's been organizing tournaments since the 80s. They call this appointment the pinnacle of recognition for him. Wow, since the 80s. That's serious dedication. But I mean, it's more than just organizing, right? A chief arbiter. Yeah. You're not just enforcing rules. You're setting the whole tone of the match. Oh, 100%. And think about it. These matches, they can get intense, disputes, disagreements, all under this microscope. Exactly. You need someone who can, like... Handle the pressure cooker of that, but also be fair, discreet. And that's where that Gilichess blog gets really interesting, because it mentions that both Ding and Gukesh got to nominate arbiters. Oh, wow. Okay. So they both had a say. They did. And Hamid was the one they both agreed on. Wow. That says a lot, Dave. I mean, these are fierce rivals we're talking about. To get that kind of unanimous trust. It's huge, E. And it speaks volumes about what people think of Hamid. Not just as an arbiter, but as a person, too. Okay, so he's got the experience, the temperament, anything else. What's he like as a person? Well, this Gilichis guy tells a great story, right? Back in the late 90s, he was just starting out as a, like, nobody blogger. And back then, getting your hands on tournament results... Pre-internet, it was a nightmare. Oh, tell me about it. But Hamid, apparently he was known for being the guy who'd help anyone. Yeah. This blogger reaches out, Hamid's like, yeah, sure, no problem. Sends him the results, no questions asked. Huh. It's funny, isn't it? You wouldn't necessarily think of that as a qualification for, like, a top-level arbiter. Yeah. But that kind of generosity, that willingness to help, it, it builds trust. And trust matters, especially in a high-stakes game like chess. It's huge. This blogger even ended up working with Hamid on the Malaysian Open a few years back. And he was saying, even with a kind of green team, things got stressful. Hamid never lost his cool. That tracks. I mean, you can teach the rules, but you can't teach that innate sense of calm under pressure. And Gil just even threw in some classic Hamidisms. Like, apparently one of his favorites is, if you want to come late, better not come at all. Oh, man. Can you imagine? World Chess Championship, tensions through the roof, and Hamid just drops that one. Right. But hey, it speaks to that, like, firm but fair thing, you know. Top players, they need that. They don't want chaos. Absolutely. Keeps everyone on their toes. It's funny, we started with a name, a name most people haven't heard, but digging a little deeper, you see why Abdul Hamid bin Abdul Majid is leading this next championship. See the guy behind the guy, right, making sure it all runs smoothly. Exactly. So yeah, Dingu Kesh, it's going to be a wild match. But keep an eye out for Hamid. He might be subtle, but he's a huge E part of what makes it all work. Totally. It's a good reminder for all of us, you know. It's easy to get caught up in the big names, the stars, but every field, it's got its Hamids. Those people working behind the scenes, making sure everything happens the way it should. Couldn't have said it better myself. Think about it, listeners. Who's the Hamid in your life? And what can you do to be a little more like him today?